what can blockchain really provide us? In this classroom at the University of California, Berkeley, students aren't learning physics or history, but a subject that most people had never heard of until recently, blockchain. Are you surprised at just how many students are interested in this? I mean, it's a, it's a fascinating topic. Mm -hmm. Don Song is one of the professors of the class on blockchain, which is the technology underlying virtual currencies like Bitcoin. It's a digital, decentralized and public ledger of all cryptocurrency transactions, making them secure and untraceable. But blockchain isn't just used for digital currencies. It can also be applied to fields like law and business. And that's the key problem that Bitcoin solves. Which is exactly what this class is all about. I decided to take the class mainly because of the hype surrounding um, blockchain technology. So it's, I figure it's best to get in now on the ground floor and start building it up. The rise and fall of the prices of Bitcoin and other virtual currencies created a frenzy in the markets, which spread to college campuses. You have this, uh, this bidding system for all classes, and so I kind of bid almost all of my, my points on this class uh, to make sure that I, that I would get in. Here at UC Berkeley, fewer than a quarter of the mostly graduate engineering students who applied got into the class. Jillian Chu isn't one of the students in the class, but she is a member of blockchain at Berkeley. There's definitely a lot of people out there who want to learn more about the space. It's a student club, but yeah, this is no hobbyist group. There's a lot of really promising um, ideas out there. But... There's a three-round application just to get into the club. Only 4% got in during the last application window, and students work on projects for Fortune 500 companies like Airbus and Qualcomm. Part of the culture here is that we you know, expect nothing but the best from all of our members, and so I think that really reflects on our work. One group of students in the club even started their own hedge fund, raising $20 million. Still, most students we talk to say they're learning about cryptocurrencies in college to make the world better, not to make money. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.